Hey, greetings, my friends. I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, as you can see, I'm driving. Uh, I have to go to town today. And uh, I have to get a few things. And uh, as you can see, it's a miserable day out there. It's just pouring rain. So, as you can guess, uh, there won't be a fireside chat tonight. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my phone would work well in the rain. Uh, I, uh,
tell you something. I appreciate it. I really do. And uh, it's going to be tough. Uh, I keep going. It's going to be tough to reply to everyone in one night or whatever. So if it gets to that point, do is I'll split it up somehow so I could do so many each day thanking you know, uh, answering back your comments uh, also now once again I gotta tell everybody if I don't call your name out on uh, Monday new subscriber acknowledgement day it's because, mainly, that you have your account set to private, and that way, uh, if you uh, subscribe, I can't see it, and I can't call out your name. Once in a while, it could be I forgot, or skipped over here for some reason, I, I don't know. <clears throat> if I do, then I hope that uh, you would uh, do another comment and tell me that uh, I didn't call your name out. And uh, then I will put you in for the following Monday. Uh, and, you know, and if you want to keep your account private, do the same thing. Uh, just make a comment. appreciate uh, those of you that uh, uh, are subscribing and, and I appreciate those who don't subscribe but do comment. I, I mean, I, that's what I enjoy. I enjoy comments. You know? I like to know what people are thinking or what they would, would like to see or hear. this morning and 
I, had, I, I set the alarm to get up at 8. And, uh, well, I must have turned the alarm off because uh, <coughs> I didn't wake up until 10.30. And I'm still tired. And I probably look it. But anyway, uh, and I started on my new eating program. My uh, VA. better than I normally do. So I started that already. Um, this morning, well, this morning I, uh, this morning I woke up, all I had was uh, watermelon. I did, I cut, uh, cut uh, yeah. I bought some uh, packages of uh, already cut watermelon. They were good. I love watermelon. But uh, last night for dinner, I had uh, chicken livers and onions and cottage cheese on a lettuce, a bed of lettuce, and some string beans. And you know, it wasn't bad at all. And and I didn't overdo it, and you know it filled me up. I was able to. I was. That was fine. Um, I'm learning to cut out the, all the bad snacks at night because uh, that raises my blood sugar levels pretty high. And uh, and, and for those of you that are new and don't know that. disabled Vietnam veteran and I was exposed uh, exposed to Agent Orange and because of the Agent Orange I've uh, acquired a few things that I really don't need and one is uh, type 2 diabetes uh, I have tremors and sometimes uh have memory loss, but it's not real bad. And yes, I I take medications for it, uh, but I'm doing a lot better because I was I was taking like 15 different medications, and uh, two injections. For the diabetes, I've taken Ozempic one time a week, and uh, Lantus uh, one time every night after meals. So uh, I just found out that they told me that I could stop taking the Lantus because uh, the Lantus helped, but right now it's interfering with the Ozempic. So, and I started that uh, last Wednesday, <clears throat> and my blood sugar levels have come down, way down. So that's a good uh, indication that it's working. Um, by the way, my uh, 2008 Ford Escape. Last week, uh, I was driving it, and all I could hear was grinding noise. And it turned out that my brakes were really bad. Now, I think some people know that at this age, I don't do that work outside anymore. I'm too old for that. So, I take it to my favorite place, 
and that's Midas Mufflers. They have really great mechanics. They're excellent. I mean, they've not never did anything wrong to me. Uh, they, when whatever problems I've had with vehicles, I get it right in, and they take care of it. But they're not cheap. And, you know, the mechanics up here in Alaska are not cheap. So, when they were under there doing the brakes, they also found that my shocks and struts were leaking really bad. So, I told them to go ahead and replace all of them and everything. And uh, came out to 2600 bucks. But, you know what? I like having the Escape back. I don't like the Escape because it's a hybrid. I don't like it at all. But I do like having it back to drive. <clears throat> and, uh, I also, a lot of you probably remember my, uh, old truck, my 89 Ford F-150, 4x4. Well, I had a lot of work done to it. And, uh, I had a mechanic working on it. <coughs> and everything is, like, brand new in the engine. And, uh, the only thing is, is that it has a skip now. And, mechanic that was doing all the work he's just having a hard time determining where the skip is well uh, I think a lot of you know Adam from Alaska cut the core okay he's a mechanic he knows what he's doing <clears throat> and he has a special uh, machine it's pourable and he's going to bring it over today, maybe. I don't know if it's a rain and he might not come. Uh, but he's going to bring it over and he's going to use it on my old truck. And uh, see if he can determine what's wrong with it and why it's skipping. That'll be nice. I'll enjoy that because I love that old truck and I want it back and I want to drive it. And I'll tell you, if it gets, uh, we get it running to where it's perfect, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I'll sell that white Ford and just drive my older truck. Because, I mean, the, the 89 Ford, I think it's in great shape. There's, there's just, uh, what do you say, a handful of rust spots. And uh, next year, I'll get that all taken care of. But I do love, I mean, it, it's, it's almost like a brand new truck now with everything I've had done to it. You know, I, I probably put in, including labor, probably put in about $5,000 into it. Because <coughs> I figured doing all this work so I figured what the hell you know uh, so anyway you know that's pretty much all that's going on today and uh, I am really looking forward to getting moved in up to the new cabin so I'm going to show you the photo of the mountains with the snow on top. We'll be coming, uh, there we go, you can see it now. Let me uh, move this over here. I'll turn these off. Yeah, look at that, all fresh snow up there. It's beautiful. Everybody, this is this is crazy, boy. When it gets like slippery, 
everybody does the speed limit <laughs> or below. Normally, you'd have everybody wanting to go 65, 70 miles an hour, and this is a 55 mile an hour zone. And you know, quite frankly, I don't mind doing 55. I just as soon as do 55. Look at the mountains there. Pretty, aren't they? Well, now we're coming into Houston. Not Texas. <laughs> yeah. Um, gotta slow it down to 45. Um, Houston here, that's where my friend Matt lives. He lives here in Houston. Matt's doing pretty good. got a lot of work he's uh, his business has been improving a lot uh, I uh, I promote his business all the time on Facebook you know people ask uh, where they could find a good carpenter uh, or someone to build a, a shed or even a house you know I always mention uh, Matt, and he's gotten quite a few jobs because of me off of Facebook. I mean, he uh, he advertises on there as well, but you know when you have two or three people uh, recommending you, that's where you get the jobs. It's the recommendations. So anyway, uh, other than that, uh, Aurora's doing good. Aurora's back here, she's laying down. look at me some more. Boy, I, I look scraggly, don't I? Holy jeez. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's how it goes. When you get this old, <laughs> you don't look better. You look worse. Um, I think, you know, y'all... I mentioned that rabbit that's at my place. He's still there. He's still there. And uh, he's gotten to the point now where he or she, I am not sure what, uh, that he, she uh, is not bothered by Aurora anymore. I mean, he outruns her. <laughs> she, he and she. See if you can see this. Yeah, I guess it's kind of. I don't know if I can. There we go. Right there. Nope. Let me turn that off. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? What a what a ride. This is a, this is a nice ride coming in. a second phone so I could have a second line so that I could have extra gigs <laughs> it seems that my 50 gigs I normally have don't last very long because I'm on YouTube all the time uh, I, I, I mean I just instead of TV I mean I watch TV now and then but more openly I I watch YouTube I just like to watch a lot of the different stuff going on uh, I watch you know a lot of the homestead things uh, mainly I like to watch the people who like really uh, get 
back to the old days of living. Those are fun to watch. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, YouTube people will say they live remote, but they don't really. Uh, not unless uh, the only you know. The true meaning of remote is that uh, you have to be like uh, Rob and Sarah from Kermudgeon. They have to take a train to get to where they live. That's it. They take a train back and forth. They uh, carry most of their supplies uh, on the train or have it brought in by train. Uh, I guess it's the train company. They also have a pickup truck that goes on the tracks and will bring in uh, things like refrigerators, freezers. Uh, uh, Ron and Sarah just got a new freezer, had a, a brand new one brought into them. It's really neat, but yeah. Anybody that lives on the road system or is accessible by the road system are not remote. <coughs> not by a long shot. Uh, there are some who call themselves off-grid but have uh, electricity. Okay, I, and I don't understand that. But... Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy watching the people that truly go off-grid because they have so much going on. They, um, you know, people living on-grid, uh, they're not remote, but I, I, I call them rural. That's what, they're living rural. So... I used to live off-grid. Off yeah, for, for years. I mean, I was born living off-grid. And for years, I lived off-grid. Uh, when I came back from the military, I, I came back and uh, I was living off-grid because I was working off-grid. And where I lived and worked, had to travel by airplane and any groceries or whatever I had to uh, uh, there was a an air service in Anchorage at Merrill Field to Lake Clark Air and they had a lady there the secretary and uh, <coughs> what she used to do is you could call in give her a list of things that you need and then she would go uh, drive around to the places and pick up everything you needed and then she would bring them back and uh, they would put it on the plane and when the plane come out you go up to the airfield and which I had to travel to the airfield either by snow machine uh, six-wheeler four-wheeler Sometime in the winter time, <clears throat> you could drive your vehicle on the uh, ice on the lake because it got thick enough to drive on. Although I didn't have a vehicle to drive, so it was mainly six wheeler and snow machine. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I loved it. So, where I'm going with this, I don't know. I'm just talking, you know, just to make an interesting uh, video, I guess. <laughs> so, I, uh, uh, oh man, like, my eyes are like half closed. I think maybe they're like that all the time. I don't remember. So, uh, anyway, we're getting ready to come.
come into town and uh, I think I'll just kind of close this off right now and uh, I appreciate everyone that uh, watches this video and, and don't get turned off by it. Anyway, uh, folks, I hope you uh, enjoyed the news. I know you're bummed out about the you no know, uh, fireside chat, but you know it just doesn't doesn't feel right if you're doing a fireside chat in uh, freezing rain. <laughs> so I wish everybody a very nice weekend. Stay safe, and uh, I will see you uh, in the next video, okay? Don't forget, comment, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, okay? Thank you, everyone. Bye.